Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about lethal genes. Lethal genes are the genes that causes death of an organism when present in homozygous condition. So when the genes are present in homozygous condition and these genes causes death of organism, then, then these genes will be called lethal genes. So this homozygous here may be dominant homozygous or may be recessive homozygous. It may be dominant or it may be recessive homozygous. So lethal genes or lethal alleles are categorized mainly into three types dominant lethal recessive lethal and the third one is conditional lethal so in case of mendel's experiment we have seen frequently homozygous dominant heterozygous or homozygous recessive so we have seen all three genotypes capital in case of height capital t capital t capital t small t and small t small t. So we have seen all three genotypes. So here this capital T is causing tallness. Suppose this capital T also have also involved in other function that is you can say chlorophyll synthesis. Suppose it is not involved just imagine that it is involved in chlorophyll synthesis so here you can see both capital T capital T is present so if it is involved in chlorophyll synthesis then this gene is essential for survival if this gene is mutated or this gene is not present then there will be no chlorophyll synthesis if no chlorophyll synthesis is there then it will die so if it is involved in chlorophyll synthesis then if capital T capital T is there so chlorophyll synthesis will occur and it will survive in case of heterozygous condition capital T is also there so chlorophyll synthesis will occur there it will survive in this case capital T is not there so no chlorophyll will be there so it will not survive now here homozygous recessive condition becomes lethal so in this case it will be called recessive lethal now we are reverting this case if this is involved in chlorophyll synthesis this small t this recessive gene is involved in chlorophyll synthesis then this small t is also there it is also there now there is no small t then so if no chlorophyll is there chlorophyll synthesis is there then it will die so here in this case dominant alleles become lethal so this is called dominant lethal and our third one is conditional lethal here 
suppose this allele capital T allele forms a gene sorry forms a protein that protects the plant in high temperature during high temperature when temperature high temperature is high then this protein protects the plant from injury so here you can see that this cap this protein will form in this genotype protein this type of protein will also form in this genotype because capital T is there so they, in this type of genotype the protein that protects plant during high temperature will not form so when condition are normal it will also survive it will be survive it will also survive and it will also survive all three will survive when condition is normal but when temperature increase to the optimum level then there is a protein that protects that plant and protein is also there but in this case there is no protein that protects the plant during high temperature so it will die so here this becomes conditional lethal and here condition is temperature when temperature is high then this genotype become this allele becomes lethal 